going to try to zoom in. We're at three power now. Going to zip in. That's all the way to nine. That might be our most concentrated one. This video was made possible by a collaboration between Niels Gadgets and myself. Basically, he paid for half the lights, and I paid for half the lights in this video, so shout out to Neil for that. Thank you. Here's a size reference of our lights, the largest being powered by a USB-C rechargeable 21700 battery down to our 18350 pocket size lights. All of these lights are LEP and not LED. LED is light emitting diode and LEP is laser excited phosphor which means they use an actual laser which is sitting off to one side in the flashlight body. The laser beam bounces off two mirrors, one you can see off to the side and then one you can see in the center that reflects it, the light downward into that yellowy phosphor and then it bounces off that phosphor and out the front through the biconvex lens. From largest to smallest, our lights are the Welltool W4, Mate Minco FW1, Neil's Gadgets House brand, followed by the Welltool W3 Pro, the Lumentop Thor 2, and the Lumentop Thor 1. The lumen output of these is not wildly different. They range from about 400 lumens to 560 lumens. The beam distance is more what sets one of these apart from another. The output will affect that, but what's more important is the size of the lens and how well optimized the focus is. The Welltool lights include a battery that is USB-C rechargeable. The Mate Minco and Neil's Gadgets lights are both USB-C rechargeable on the body of the light. The Mate Minco fits a protected cell. For the Neil's Gadgets, you will need unprotected. The lumen top lights both take an 18350 and you will need to put them in an external charger. The beam of these LEP lights is highly concentrated. You really can't look directly at the hot spot at close range without hurting your eyes. Even in daylight you can see the beam in the atmosphere and on the ground. The overall design of each of these lights seems pretty good to me at first glance. High quality threads, nice anodizing, clean look, and good hand feel. I've not had them long enough to speak to longevity of any of the electronics. Overall, my favorite of the bunch are probably the Lumentop Thor 1 and the Welltool W3 Pro. The look of the Thor 1 to me is epic. I love how compact it is, and that tail cap is the bomb. The W30 Pro is one of the best looking flashlights I've ever seen in my life. Very tactical with a pocketable size head and I love how accessible the switch is. If you prefer a forward switch light, the Mate Minco FW1 has a more perfectly focused beam but the Neil's Gadgets light has the closest thing to focus ability of all the lights. I don't think is meant to be focusable, however the bezel does unscrew. I can get almost double the size hot spot before the donut in the center gets nasty. If you can live with the dark spot in the center from that mirror in view, you get about four times the hot spot size. And with the head completely off, you get a donut mule. The Thor 2 is probably my least favorite light, but not because there's anything wrong with it. I just think for an 18350 light, it's kind of big. I'd rather just use the Thor 1 and save size and weight. It does come in titanium with three finishes though. Looking first at the lumen output, you can see I got consistently lower than the factory rating. I have no explanation for this. I checked calibration on my setup before I started the tests. My batteries were charged. And in some cases I ran the tests multiple times because I doubted the outcome. I suspect since the numbers are consistently low, there may be something in my setup that affects the measurements I'm getting from the lasers across the board. I'm much more pleased with the candela readings that we got, which is how we measure beam distance. You can see that all of our lights performed at or above the factory rating. 
The Well Tool W4 being the clear winner coming in at 2.49 million CD. The Thor 2 landed at the bottom of the barrel again, and I don't know for sure why. Uh, the factory lumen rating is 500, and I measured only 283. I ran that test three times just to make sure the light wasn't in medium mode or I hadn't made some other mistake. I performed all the Candela tests twice as well. This is Charles. He's going to be our test dummy. Hey! Sorry, I mean... Test... Genius? I built this apparatus uh, so we can see what the beams look like through a target scope. Okay, Charles is standing about 200 feet that direction. Stand... What are you doing, man? Dang it, Charles. What do you mean waiting on your next stimmy? There's not going to be any more. You got Come on. Come on. You got to get you got to do stuff. I'm going to do it with you. Beginning smallest to largest. This is the Thor 1. Stepping up to the Thor 2. The Well Tool W3 Pro. Neil's Gadgets. Watch this here. You see how that stepped down just a little bit in output? Earlier when I tested all of the lights, I ran them for a full 10 minutes on high to check for a turbo timer. I only found that the Thor 1 and 2 had a turbo timer and it kicked in at 5 minutes runtime. So I'm not really sure why this one did that just then. If I hit the switch, it will go back to high, but I'm not certain what caused it to drop in the first place. But I have seen it a couple of times with this light. Mate Minco FW1. Well Tool W4. Because I know people are going to ask, we're going to look at it compared to Ace Beam W30, which is the laser flashlight I reviewed in my other video. I'd say the W4 is very competitive, just as good or better, maybe. Uh, and now, compared to our equal size LED flashlight. So, at close range, as far as being able to see, obviously you get more with the LED, because it's like, you know, four times as powerful. Uh, but you can see our... Our beam, even at this much more power, is not, it's not as tight. It's going to be more range bound. Here's that sequence again through our rifle scope. It is set on a magnification of three. Here you can see his position right there past the end of that car and the camera position right there by that tree. Our original distance in my yard was about 200 feet, uh, with Charles sitting over there on that rock. That puts us at almost three times the distance, 550 feet or so. Uh, the 
for this time we're going to test our regular LED flashlight for our frame of reference. Uh, you can see it reaches down there, but it's just kind of splashing him. And, and this is like a 2000 lumen light. So realistically, if you're going to pair, compare apples to apples, we would want to go uh, like on medium mode because that's probably more like 600 lumens or 500 lumens, which is what the, the laser flashlights are. That is the lumen top Thor 1. Well, tool W4. There will be links in the description for purchase of all of these lights with coupon codes to save you some money. I should mention, while I was already making this video, Lumen Top released the Thor 3. Uh, I haven't got to test that yet. Uh, I think Lumen Top's a pretty safe bet as far as quality, so I thought I'd mention that light too. As always, guys, super thanks for watching and good lucks.